Welcome back, boys and girls. We had just finished reading the book Here and Now, which is kind of a book that helps us meditate and calm our bodies down and relax them so that we can focus and do other things. So I also have some different activities you could try doing if you don't have a book like that to read that might help you calm your body down. So one of them is called a breath star. This is one that my son Jonathan likes to do. Do you see that hand there? That's your breath star. So you might do this when you get really mad and you're angry and you can't calm your body down. You could try doing a breath star. Or if you're, you know, having a hard time focusing on what you're supposed to work on, sometimes doing something like this will help you focus better too. Okay, so a breath star. I'll read you the directions. Number one, spread out one hand like a star. <laughs> You've got it. So number two, you're going to use the index finger on your other hand, your pointer finger, and you're going to trace the outline of your star, okay? While you're doing that, you're going to take some deep breaths, though. So take a deep breath as you move your, move your finger tracing to the top of your thumb. Breathe in. And then as you go down, breathe out. And then in again. And out. In and out. Go in again and out. In again and out. Great job. By remembering to breathe like that and slowing down, you don't want to do it like this. <laughs> That's not helpful. That's not going to calm you down. you got to go nice and slow while you trace. That'll help calm your body down and slow your body down. You can always repeat it on the other hand if you want. And if you are having a hard time with the star or that's too much, you can always try a fist too. And start at the bottom and breathe in all the way around. And now. Give those breathing exercises a try next time. Here is another one you could do. This one is called a body scan. Do you see that little person laying down? I'll read you the directions. So number one, you have to stand or lie comfortably and keep your body straight. So you can stand straight up or you can lie flat on the ground. You decide, you get in that right spot. I'll wait for you. Are you ready? Okay, so now you're gonna take three slow, deep breaths in, okay? And you're gonna, let's do our first breaths. Ready, you're standing straight or you're laying flat. Take three breaths. That's one. That's two. three. That helps to calm your body down while you start. So now while you're laying or standing, I want you to focus on your feet. Just think about your feet. I'm going to count to five while you think about your feet. Feet, feet, feet. One, two, still thinking about feet. Three, four, your feet. Do you feel them? Five, great. How does that part of your body feel? Does it feel warm or cold? Is it itchy? Does it feel tight or relaxed? Think about those feet. Is all or part of that part of your body, your feet, touching the floor? thinking about your feet. Can you feel any clothing on them? Do you have socks or slippers or shoes on your feet? What does it feel like? Is it soft or rough? So now you're going to move up your body a little bit. So if you started at your feet, you're moving up. Think about your legs next, okay? So think about your legs while I count to five. Ready? One, legs. Two, think about where they are. 
three, how they feel, four, five. I'm going to ask you those same questions about your legs now. How does that part of your body feel? Is it, are they warm or cold? Do they feel tight or relaxed? Are your legs touching the floor? Or your chair? Do you have any clothing on your legs? Pants? Or tight or skirt? What does it feel like? So for the body scan, you would keep doing that, and you just move up your body. So next you might do your belly, your chest, and your arms, and your head, and you ask those same questions. What does that part of your body feel like? Is it warm or cold? Does it feel tight or relaxed? Is it touching the floor? Can you feel anything against your skin, like clothing or a pillow? And what does it feel like? So that's the body scan. I've got two more relaxing exercises for you. Ready? This next one is called heartbeat. Heartbeat. You've got a heart, right? So here's what it looks like. I'll show you. Heartbeat. So you're going to sit or stand. You sit. Let's do it sitting. Sit down and sit really still. Really still. And you're going to close your eyes. Or look downward if you want. And take three breaths in and out to get started again. Ready? In and out. In and out. Last one. In and out. Great job. So you're going to place your fingers or your hands over your body where you can best feel your pulse or your heartbeat. So if you've been running around, you might feel it best if you put your hands right on your chest. Sometimes you can really feel it there. Some people will put their fingers up here by this bump on your head called your temple. Sometimes you can feel your heartbeat there. Some people might put it down here on this part of your neck. Sometimes if you push there just a little bit, you can feel your heartbeat. You have to be really still to feel it though. And some other people might put their fingers right here on their wrist and push down a little bit. And sometimes you can feel your pulse or your heartbeat there too. So you want to find a spot to find your heartbeat. I always find mine best right here on my temple. Hmm. Do you notice how quickly or slowly your heart is beating? Mine is beating pretty slow. I think it's because of all those exercises we've been doing to calm down. Think about your current feelings. Do you think your feelings and how you feel is connected with your heartbeat? I think so. Sometimes when I'm really excited and um, like I just got done running around with my dog and I'm really excited and I'm going to throw the stick for her to go fetch, sometimes my heart beats really fast then. Um, and sometimes when I get mad, sometimes my heart beats fast then too. I can feel it. My chest beating because I'm so angry. If you have a hard time feeling your heartbeat for this, then you should get up and jump up and down for like 10 seconds and then spin around in a circle for 10 seconds and then touch your toes and touch your head and touch your toes and touch your head and then try finding your heartbeat and we'll see if you have an easier time with it. So this one you really are just focusing and listening to your heartbeat and thinking about how you're feeling. Okay, I've got one more for you. This one is called mindful breathing. Do you see her breathing down there? Mindful breathing. So you're going to sit or stand and place your hands on your belly. Just to close your eyes or to look down towards the floor. We'll start off with those three breaths again. Breathe in and out. 
in and out, in and out. Good job. So after you've taken your three breaths, in your mind, you're going to count to three for each breath in and breathe, count to three for each breath out. Ready? So it'll look like this. You'll breathe in and in your head, you won't say it, in your head you'll go one, two, three, out, two, three, one, two, three, out, two, three. Okay? So you should be counting to three as you breathe in and out when you do this, okay? And you're just going to keep doing that. So, I am going to set a timer for one minute, and you're just going to practice breathing in for three and out for three for one whole minute. This will help get your body calm and ready. Okay, here we go. You ready? Start. In. Focus on that breathing. Great job. You guys did that for a whole minute. And you were so focused on your breathing, I bet you didn't even think of anything else. Okay, so those are your exercises. Remember to try these out next time you feel like you really need to get your body under control. You can trace your breathing star. You can do the body scan. Think about each part of your body. You can find your heartbeat and think about how that's how you're feeling and how that might be linked to how your heart is beating. And you can do that mindful breathing where you just focus on breathing in for three and out for three. Okay, hopefully this helps. Uh, have a great, wonderful afternoon. Have lots of fun and I will see you again tomorrow.